For those of you who are taking thesis seminar, I wanted to provide a brief overview of what to consider uh, when completing the title page of your thesis paper. So if you look at the template, I would follow basically the structure of the template uh, as shown here, having a running head. So you're going to have exactly as it appears here in the template, running head, colon, and then in all uppercase, you're going to include the first five or six words of your title. If you notice here, I have inserted an example title of the paper here at the middle uh, of the paper, of the page, and it's in italics. Main words are capitalized. There's no punctuation at the end. But notice that I've taken these words, creating a diverse team for change, and I've taken it directly from the title. Again, the first five or six words is uh, all that's needed. And then every page thereafter, you're going to remove running head and just include the, uh, the first five words, all in uppercase. So include that. You're going to leave this pretty much as is. And then you're going to add your name here. And then I would include the, the tutor, your tutor, underneath your name. And in your case, it'll be my name, and you, it can appear just like this. And then I would change the date uh, to the current year. And that's basically it. This is what I would change for the title page and also <clears throat> the header that's going to be included in all of your pages, all of the subsequent pages of your manuscript. Here I would add your name again where uh, and then the title of your thesis. So on the second page, under approval page, include the title of your thesis just as, just as it is uh, listed here and include your name and and then let's see, the tutor, add the tutor's name and let's see here, the tutor's name and then the faculty of the language department, probably that would be uh, Wendy, the head of the department, the department head. Um, I think for our purposes, I would just include, I would remove this. I don't think this is necessary. I think we'll just include the tutor signature and that'll be, that'll be fine. That'll be enough, I believe. Okay, and then you'll have your abstract and so on, the rest of your manuscript. Remember that we're going to remove the pages that we had before that stated uh, or that had the list of figures and a list of tables. We're going to remove that. And in this particular case, notice that we've got our, yeah, there's something a little weird here There's in this example. I'm going to remove, I'm not sure what this is. So I'm going to remove this. And basically what you need to have is right below your table of contents, you're going to have, you should have the first page of your introduction. So let me remove this space. Let's see, where are we? Okay, so there's something weird going on here. There shouldn't be this blank line, so make sure you don't have any blank pages in your manuscript. And I'll have to look at this later. For some reason, I'm not able to... Let's see, did that do it? There we go. All right, so we've got... Uh, the title of your page centered to the page, so go ahead and add your title. Make sure that you remove any extraneous information from the template in your final first draft that's due this Friday. So don't, don't leave any extra information that's left over. Uh, go ahead and remove all of that. That includes also any uh, sample references that, was, that were included in your template. Go ahead and remove those. Make sure that you have at least 10 and in order to do the mock presentation, just as a reminder, that you need to have at least 2,000, I would say 2,200 word minimum in your results and discussion section. You need to have references and appendices. You need to have a completed minimum 2,225 or 50 words or so in your theory. That, that's a requirement. Uh, obviously, the method section needs to be completed. Uh, in order to be eligible to participate in the mock presentations that's, that are going to begin next Monday, the 27th of May, 2019. Also, just so you know, the mock presentations are going to be located or are going to take place in the language department. 
in the uh, right next to the language, the office, uh, Wendy's office, basically. It's going to be, and we're going to have all of our our mock presentations there, except for May 30th. On Thursday, we'll be in the in the Isioptica. Then during the final presentations, all of them will be conducted in the Isioptica, downstairs in the first first floor. All right, so I uh, just wanted to touch on just a few points. Uh, as you're finishing up your first draft, make sure that your man manuscript is completed and make sure that the title page is completed as, as I mentioned uh, here. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave comments in your Google Docs uh, or send me an email or come by my office and we can discuss it uh, face to face or during our tutoring sessions.